day. Nick H. the Traveler here. We're tr cruising through Texas still. We're heading down towards Brownville, Texas, south of San Antonio, and we're going to be taking a cruise and looking through the town of Three Rivers, Texas. Three Rivers, Texas. We're just going to get into it here and uh, do a little exploring. It's called, we're in the brush, bush country, brush country of Texas. Of course, we're entering the town and uh, a lot of oil and gas in this, in this area. The town has a natural gas refinery or processing plant in the town. That's the name, the main employment, plus all the supporting businesses that go along with it. So we're just entering. I am running a new, on the camera, a new, uh, I guess, view, a, a new, new angle. This, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's pulling a old cable across. One of them, uh, counting cables that count how many times people drive over the road. So, didn't want to hit him. So yeah, this is the uh, the brush country of Texas. Quite a few towns around this area. Smaller communities like this. So, a lot of these live oaks, these small little brush trees grow around the area. And I don't know if you can tell in the distance to the right, that's definitely the refinery with the smokestacks. We're going to be getting closer to that, or the condensate, or the uh, condensing tanks, and uh, that. So we're going to get a little closer to that. Probably get a get a look see. But the oil and gas industry brings in a lot of business into Texas and the surrounding areas. reading an article yesterday I pulled it up on the phone just to see how long the oil and gas was gonna last in Texas we're in 2024 right now and they they um, estimate that there's at least another 200 years of production being able to uh, to get out of the Texas area I, I don't know what that means I don't know if that's uh, at current rates probably probably depleting rates but a lot of the oil and gas was discovered here in the 1920s, so 100 years later, or over 100 years later, and we're still uh, pulling natural gas out of the ground and oils and that. Um, political, whatever you think about oil, gas, and that, it's just, it has uh, changed the world for all the production and all the stuff we get from oil. It's changed it for good, changed it for bad, changed it, it just changed it, so. It is what it is, but it's making us get through and do things that we need to do. But it will be interesting to see the transition in the next 50, 100 years into whatever fuel source we we transfer to, and that. So, but we're getting close to that refinery on the right there. We're getting closer to the town of of Three Rivers might have turned the camera on a little too early I thought I was closer to the town but we will make the best of it so they got to process the oil and distill it into all different types of products so this is a refinery facility that does that we're just entering the city limits of Three Rivers. It is February 21st, 2024. It is 64 degrees out. It is 10 a.m. in the morning. We're just getting into town. You see the line of trucks here on the right. These are all trucks that are going into the de depot here to drop off their distillants. Or actually, maybe, no, this is a refinery. Actually, I think they're picking up the oil and gas and they're, they're going to deliver it to to um, wherever to the gas stations and everything. You 
would assume since we're so close to the refinery the gas would be a little cheaper but the first look at the gas station back there the diesel prices were about 20 cents more expensive than they were uh, 200 300 miles north of here which is interesting so here's the town of three rivers we'll do we'll do a little drive around to look at look at look see see what uh, what's entailed the main drag here we're eventually going to take a right down and go that way So these oil towns these oil towns are all over Texas actually all over the country I think you can get into almost any state has some type of oil and gas industry in it and these oil towns are what uh, kind of puts a lot of money into the economy Some old southern homes here. So we're at, like I said, we're in February. Yesterday was 86 degrees here. Today is 70 or 64 right now. We're in the morning. It's supposed to warm up today after this cloud cover burns off. But that's February in Texas. code 78071 is what the post office just said there <laughs> name of that restaurant is pig and cake pig and cake so I guess you can you can eat cake and pig at the same time interesting combination hunting trucks. Dollar General. As I drive around Texas here, I, I see, I guess I never realized how prominent it was. Actually, if you get on to my story, but if you look, there's a whole trailer of cows here to the right. Whole trailer of cows. But uh, what I was gonna say is I never, I never realized um, vehicles as much until I got into Texas here and just didn't realize how many more Fords Texas drive. Definitely, they hold the market here um, for consumption of vehicles. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make a blanket comment. It's just you see a lot more people driving Fords around than any new Chevys or GMCs or any of them. I, I guess I never, never paid attention until the last, the last couple weeks or the month here that I've been driving around in the area. There's a family dollar, dollar tree. There's the cow's gonna pass. 
pass us. Owls are passing us. We're gonna circle back around into town. If you're listening and you got this far in the video and you wanna do me a, a solid favor, I would recommend hitting the thumbs up button, subscribe to these videos, like, comment, do all the normal YouTube stuff. It's just so I can keep on doing these on YouTube. We're gonna go back and explore the town a little bit more. We're gonna go through the other direction and kind of get a look-see what is the rest of the town. There's also a lot of hunting out here. Of course they got the feral hogs or the wild boars. I, they're, they're called feral. They're all over the place down here. And they also have whitetail and deer hunting down here. Of course we're in the southern so they, the deer are, are different than the, the deer up north. They don't quite get as big due to the fact of the, uh, the heat and the climate down here. Like I said, diesel is 379. The regular is 289. So I'm not sure about regular price, but the diesel price, like you said, up north is a 20 cents or so cheaper up north. But if you do like this com the commentary that I make on these videos, you know, I can either keep on doing it or stop it. I mean, I, I just leave a comment. Let me know what you're, what you're thinking. A lot of people don't like me talking in these videos. Some people want me to talk, so I don't know. Kind of probably do the kind of a mix a little bit, all depending on how I feel when, I, when I'm driving through these towns. But you can, you can clearly see now the, the big refinery in front of us. And all that was, you know, that was started, at least the oil and gas came to town in the 1920s. So every, every refinery was built after that, but it's been operational for a very long time. Getting back to the same stoplight we went through. We'll come up here and end this video. Circle K. VFW and library. There's the their oil refinery. Okay. Have a great video or have a great day. Enjoy the video. Have a great day, guys.